Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and if you were in California and you wondered what that strange trail was just after sunset, then it wasn't a rocket. We were all waiting for a rocket to launch, but they actually scrubbed the launch, but coincidentally, at the same time, a rock or something from space, a meteorite, came through the atmosphere and left this trail, and it happened just after sunset. So not only was the trail uh, very large and prominent in the sky, because it was high up, like 40, 50 miles, we estimate, it was illuminated long after the sun was set. So we watched this for like 20 minutes afterwards. And thanks to Richard in Stockton, we have video of the event unfolding. This is his dash cam. We see it come down very quickly. That is what a meteorite looks like. From that viewpoint, it's probably easily over 100 miles away. That uh, ball eyed would have been moving probably at 15 kilometers per second or more. And when it hits the atmosphere, that energy is converted into heat, which causes the object to evaporate and disintegrate. And that vaporized material forms into a cloud. And that's what we saw. We saw this cloud that was uh, slowly twisted around by the upper atmosphere winds. And we're talking extremely high altitude winds, probably 40 to 50 miles, based upon the fact that people were easily seeing it all the way down in L.A. I pretty much realized it was a meteorite as soon as my uh, rocket watching buddies down in Vandenberg and my neighbors started asking what it was. Viewers from that distance apart points to an astronomical phenomena. We knew the rocket launch had been cancelled, so it probably was a natural event, and a meteorite fit the bill precisely. The only other video that's turned up right now has been this time lapse from a webcam pointing over Lake Tahoe from the National Weather Service in Reno. You can see the trail form and then disintegrate. The camera isn't updating fast enough to actually get the initial entry as anything more than it instantly appearing, but it's nice because we get a complete fixed view showing the development of the trail as the upper atmosphere moves the trail around and changes it, to dispersing it. Anyway, there's tons of great photos out there because there were a lot of people out just waiting for a rocket to launch and they all had their cameras pointed. So they were ready to go and take these kind of images of trails. There's obviously a lot of t people out that have been taking pictures. They got videos on dash cams and things like that. So uh, we'll be able to triangulate this and get some real data. And I'm pretty sure there will be some evidence of this in radar, radio, whatever. That we will figure out where this came down. I don't think we'll find any physical debris from this because judging by the different viewpoints, this is happening out over the Pacific. And in case you hadn't heard, rocks tend to sink. Also, based on the fact that it is arriving just around sunset, probably means that it's coming in from a higher energy orbit. So it's got a larger orbit and it's either passing us by on the way in or on the way out and it hit the Earth instead. But it wasn't big enough to do any serious damage, just enough to, you know, have a lot of people notice it. It's not aliens, it's not an ICBM, it's not Santa, and it's not the Soyuz returning from the space station. It is a space rock. So now you know, thanks to everyone that donated their photos and let me use them, especially Richard, your uh, dash cam video was great, it told the entire story. And I'm sure all these public videos and pictures will actually help us find out more about the event. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.